everyone this is Pamela and welcome to my channel and continuing with this self-destructing behavior uh, series I would like just to address perfectionism and why is this negative I think most of you already know but it's actually really good to always remember but I would like to leave a clip of an example of a character of a movie that shows this type of trait Good. It's front. We're almost done. Uh, that's it. Okay. You're done. Thank you very much. Georgina? Yes. I'm a little late. Come on, Sandra. Yeah, we have to get you measured for your swan queen costume. What's she doing here? He made me your alternate. So whomever who actually watched the movie, this is an old movie back in 2010, I guess. And you can tell that this girl, even though she got the main role, she was not very happy as she was always uh, demanding herself to do better. And what happened when you are very, you know, perfectionist? You're just showing many things. First of all, you're showing that you have a low self-esteem. And it is because you're not able to focus on the good things as you don't see it. And that generates a lot of anxiety, a, lo a lot of tensions, and you're not even willing to enjoy for the achievement that you actually have. So these people tend to have this narrative where they really hard on themselves. And that's completely self-destructive because this is going to um make them feel in a constant need of proving themselves that they can do better when the reality is that perhaps the product is already proving that they are improving per se but they are not able to see it so you know you have to or if somebody who's watching this is presenting this type of traits you need to take into account the fact that you are a human being and it's normal to make uh, mistakes. It's normal to realize that nothing is going to be perfect and you have to relax. Failure, it's not something you need to be afraid of because failure is just a way of showing you that this is not the path to go whenever you wanna go when you want to achieve something. So if you fail the first time, then you realize, okay, this is not the way I have to do it, then let me try again. And then you're going to learn some other path that maybe it's going to get you closer to whatever you want to be. But failure, it's more like an opportunity to show you this, to give you wisdom, to know how to manage your emotions, your frustration. And it's a proof that you are at least trying. So perfectionism is not going to allow you to analyze this type of things or to even see the positive uh, side of of yourself of being disciplined of actually having the initiative of doing something so the character is basically showing this kind of um, mental uh, distress even though she had the main role she wasn't actually happy she wasn't enjoying it she was so so stressed about that that she started having hallucinations she was always thinking or fear with a fear of not uh, making a mistake and all this stuff and even when she did an amazing job she wasn't certain about that so you always have to remember failure it's just part of the path of becoming successful and trying it, it makes it really important just for you to see what is it that you need to develop? What is it that you are already developing in order for you to become a better uh, person and a better professional in whatever you decide to do? So if you like the video, but the most important part, it was really useful for you. I would like you to subscribe to my channel, to give me a thumb up, especially to share it to somebody that is actually needing it. And as I always say, I do this with all my heart and see you the next time. Bye bye.